Hey everyone, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Anna. I am a portrait photographer in the Denver, Colorado area. And today we are doing a trade for print photo shoot with Julia at a Christmas tree farm. I typically like to photograph in locations where I know clients will be asking for, and because the holidays were coming up, I felt like a Christmas tree farm would be absolutely perfect to not only have some great holiday Christmas cards, but also have some background on where the best spots are. And this Christmas tree farm was kind enough to let us photograph there, and all we needed to do was give a small donation to a charity that they supported. Since this is a business, I want to make sure that I ask for permission first, especially when I am location scouting, because I want to make sure that I stay on good terms. So I had called ahead and let them know that this is the exact date that I was thinking of doing the shoot and how long I was planning on being there. Obviously, you want to make sure that you are not disrupting any clients, so find locations in this business where you are not going to be disrupting their business as well. I mentioned in the beginning of this video that this is a trade for print shoot. A lot of people will use this term, but essentially what it means is that the model will be giving their time and their experience in exchange for the photographer's time and the photographer's photos. Both parties are accepting the fact that this is not a paid shoot for either party. I like doing trade for print photo shoots like this for my YouTube videos, but also as a way to build up my portfolio since I have moved out of state. Because I have no clients asking me to take photos at Christmas tree farms, it makes sense to build up my portfolio during the holidays to make sure that I have photos that show exactly what a client would want, which is holiday photos at a Christmas tree farm. And the only way to do that is to reach out to models and begin photo shooting at the locations that your clients might potentially be asking for. If you're interested in a video talking about people who are modeling for the very first time, I have a YouTube video that will be located up here as well as in the description box below. If you have the ability to do a photo shoot on the day where the weather is absolutely perfect, I highly recommend doing so, but sometimes you're going to run into situations where the weather is not going to be super friendly to you and you have no other choice to do it except do it on that day. In this case, when we were at the photo shoot location, my light stand kept falling down and it was super windy, so we just had to work with what we had. What I recommend is if you're in a situation like this where it's super cold, is to always make sure that the client has a jacket or hand warmers available in between poses so that way they can continue warming up. And if you also have the ability to do so, I would try to keep the shoot as short as possible. If you are dealing with a client and they hired you for an hour, I would try to keep it under 45 because by the time that they reach the hour of the shoot, they're already going to start to look miserable and be very cold. So I would try to get as many photos as you can in the beginning. Julia was being an absolute trooper and was surviving through this cold tundra that we were dealing with when I had told her to take off her jacket and the wind is just blowing in her face. So. I would try my best to make sure I kept it as short as possible. I typically go for an hour for my shoots and I kept this to about 30 to 35 just so she wasn't dealing with the cold for that long. All across the US there has been some crazy cold front happening and if you have the ability to cancel your photo shoots or reschedule I would highly recommend doing so just for the next couple of days. I am curious to know if anybody has dealt with some crazy weather and how they were able to handle it so let me know in the comments below. And as always I hope you guys are staying safe and I will see you guys in the next video.